Hi, this is a basic example on how to use the seven segment display library with two segments. So I've just started off the program by defining the number of segments is two and the segment port is port C. You don't really need to define that because it's already a default setting if you're using port C. And segment one control pin is port D pin four and segment two is port D pin five. So just go to my, my wiring diagram. Here's the two, two uh, seven segment displays and notice that all the wires are hooked up in parallel so this segment here is connected to that one there via that wire through a 470 ohm resistor and to the PIC micro so depending on which, which one of these uh, seven segment displays is enabled by which one has an earth well it will depend which one the uh, segment will display for I'm using a ULN to switch or multiplex because they're just a single chip solution that's great for switching an earth so a 5 volt signal here will pretty much tie this signal to earth and just keep in mind this is a simulation tool this program and it doesn't show the uh, the ground pin that should be connected with the ULN and I just simply define the clock speed instead of wiring up an oscillator okay and the frequency meter is just for an, an example later on so going back to the program itself, I've included the library file which I have got saved in my user library and uh, I've just declared a variable and reset it to zero and got a little loop here every 500 milliseconds I'm going to increment the variable and just update the, uh, the buffer for the segment handler. So I'll compile that and just keep in mind that the simulation software is going to try and display an instance of time and the multiplexing won't look fluent so you'll they'll like flash randomly one might flash twice and the other one will go back and flash and that's why I've got the frequency meter here to actually show me uh, the the frequency or the multiplexing speed for each channel so I'll start the simulation and so it's going at about 26 hertz and as you can see this is the single units and this is the tens and it's just incremented over to 10, 11, 12 okay now you might run into issues where the displays don't appear bright enough or there's a bit of a flicker in real life uh, there's both digital and hardware based solutions not so much for the flickering but for the brightness control you can vary the, the uh, resistors but you can also change the speed in which they multiplex because you've got to take into account there's a small amount of time from the pick micro to actually rise up and uh, make make each line a, a 5 volt signal and there's a small amount of time for the ULN to react and then there's the uh, LEDs turning on full brightness themselves so with that in mind if you if it's running too quickly or you're you're using a pick micro with PLL enabled and the program is running very quick then you might want to um, slow it down to ensure that everything is on for long enough to, to make it look very bright anything over 25 Hertz up to about 50 ish will give you a very smooth fluent display and you won't be able to see a flicker between these so if I go back to the program I'm gonna change the display interval to 10 because by default the uh, with two segments the display interval is I think about 20 or 19 so I'll recompile this now and begin the program so it's taking a little slower than last time because it's got more number crunching but you can see it's running at about 4950 Hertz and so it's twice as fast or well, pretty much twice as fast and it's still working as intended with the uh, numbers incrementing but in real life it'd be slightly dimmer and but even even smoother there'd be no flickering or jittering between the displays keep in mind that the uh, library itself is an interrupt based service routine so small uh, delays like delay milliseconds 500 when this uh, program compiles the compiler will make a small loop where it'll delay for exactly the number of cycles to have a 500 millisecond delay but in between or every 10 milliseconds the uh, if I go to my seven segment 
program, this on timer event will actually get serviced and the compiler doesn't take into account that the code starting from there going all the way down to here will be uh, serviced and executed and will form part of the uh, compile based delays created so that would probably come out to just over 500 milliseconds but it won't be anything too large and for most applications it, it's not too much of an issue well, I hope that helps somebody else.